All right, so let's talk about this uh, thing here, the gist spouse nest of kin. I saw a post. I saw a post on uh, Instagram. I thought we'd talk about it, right? Uh, the gist spouse nest of kin. How many of you guys know who uh, Don't Jealous Me Tolu is? He's been a skit maker for the longest, for a long time. Those were the skit makers before there was the skit makers. Okay. And uh, he's married. Another marriage that a lot of people fantasize about, you know. Yep. So, um, let me see here. Ola GLB don't post a day pick. Yeah, but there was no confirmation to it, right? I think I saw what you're talking about. Let me see here. Let me see. Okay, this is him posting his wife. Uh, let me go to to my saved. Okay, where is it? Let me see. Okay, here, here. Shay. All right, check this out. She posted this. Banky W cheating on the is unconfirmed rumors, but even if it's true, there's no reason why anyone should use their online love story as a yardstick to measure a successful relationship. Respect your parents. Some of you also condemning cheating are in many relationship clowns. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Speak your speak your truth, my G Jesu. Sense or nonsense? He's full of shit. There are some, it's okay, it's pretty normal behavior for people to say, oh, they seem cute together, okay? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean people are using this as a yardstick. Um, if, <laughs> there's a fine line between you saying this, I see a little bit of sense in it, but you're also telling people not to celebrate love, okay? D don't celebrate love? Why, why, why not? Why can't people celebrate love? Not be juju be that. What was? You have some stories to tell us. You have something to tell us, okay? So of course uh, she posted this, uh, but nothing in it. She's she's basically uh, taking advantage of the clout. That's what I see here. Yeah. That's what I see. Nothing. Nothing. No big deal there. But anyway, let me be, let me get back to. Oh, you guys didn't see that. You didn't see any of the stuff I just showed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me see. I was basically showing this. Um, yeah, just love I posted this. Banky W cheating is on this one. Well, confirm. Well, yeah, blah blah blah. Mostly dust. Okay, let's just call that dust. Anyway, so back to what we're talking about. I'm going to go in my saved actually on Instagram here. All right, so this is Tolu. Uh, don't jealous me. I still didn't show what I was trying to show. It's okay. She just farted everywhere okay so this is the way this one showed their own love right it's okay if we laugh about this you can see yabojo she's also always posting stuff about love celebrating love right and you have a lot of people when they engage in conversations they will start saying things like you know uh well that's how you compare yourself to these people that just lie on the like Jesus, that what an assumption. Why are you assuming that people that are showing showcasing good love? Why why the assumption, right? 
right? We assume the worst case scenario, basically. And it's bad habits that actually shows up in your relationships, okay? Uh, the way you behave in one thing is how you behave in everything else in life. If you tend to assume worst case scenario, you will assume, you will tend to assume worst case scenario, right? Um, it doesn't mean the worst case scenario cannot happen, but it's called the worst case scenario for a reason, right? That means it's really bad, right? And also, if you tend to assume worst case scenario, it speaks to fear, right? And you're going to attract what you fear the most. That's just life, okay? Somehow, your behavior will align together with the universe. You will create it, right? Because what we're talking about is mostly emotional. So it's very easy to create emotional turmoils without it actually happening in real life. And before you know it, there will be drama in your relationship just because you tend to, have, uh, to, to, um, to assume worst case scenarios, right? So why am I bringing this in, right? This is the gist spouse, right? My wife is my gist spouse. We don't, we don't fall all over. This ones are clowns. We're not clownish like this, right? But you know, but we we also have fun. We we laugh, we chat. We, she comes back, she tells me stuff about her job. I tell her stuff about when I'm on on the on sites and stuff like that. So she's she's like we we are like that, right? But not necessarily giving her shoulder feast on the back. But you get the gist, right? Your your gist spouse, right? So I was having a conversation. Um, on I was having a conversation with uh, an Ekene APC bishop yesterday. Let me call that person Ekene APC bishop. I was I was having a conversation with an Ekene APC bishop yesterday, and he goes. Well, first of all, I don't know if he's married. Last time I had a conversation with this particular Ekene bishop, he was not married. But now he's claiming my wife, my wife. But these are just online people, so I don't know them personally. So it's not like um, we're just having a conversation on Clubhouse. And it was like, oh, yeah, I'm not, you know, uh, my wife. Somebody said, so what So what? What about your, like, what about your partner? I said, would it be partner? I don't get partner. My wife is not my partner. I said, okay. And then... The, the person now asked him and said what 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 about um who is your nest of kin right <laughs> who is your nest of kin and it was like my nest of kin could be my brother and my sister <laughs> my your brother my brother and your sister and then it's like um and then he was already guessing where we were going with the conversation and then he goes, well, if something ever happens to me, my brother and my sister knows not to, knows to treat my, my, my wife well. Hmm. Not be juju be that. <sighs> yeah. There's a, see, on, a, on paper, common sense. I could see it. But still. You are a mumu man. On paper, right? Yeah. You know, your wife is not your family. Really? Hmm. Right? So, my wife is not my friend. My wife, he said my wife is not my best friend. All right, so there's a difference between I have a best friend. I have, you know, I have a few best friends. Yeah, my wife is one of them. This one. There's a difference between that and going to the extreme and outrightly saying, and you feel the need to say, my wife is not my best friend. That issue is long. That issue is long. That issue is deeper. Remember that story, the the Akim uh, Ashraf story, right? Everybody fantasizing about that came to find out that it was all trolling. It was a fake news, essentially. Nobody ever addressed. It's Nigerian. Nigerians, they made the news trend all around the world. It was Nigerians that created the trend because they were fantasizing about a solution, a perfect solution where women cannot hurt you and women can never hurt you again. Why? Because you're never going to give her access to the assets. We got problems. This generation has problems, serious problems. So they're deep gone. Why use their pick of all couples? Because it's clout. 
Nigeria believe in evil eye. Hmm, Wahala. I admire their marriage, Tolu and his wife. Man of Prestige, they always seem so happy and into each other. Bless them. Listen, a Tolu camping a woman in hotels in Abuja is possible. It's unlikely. You get the gist? You get it? If you don't get it, don't forget about it. Okay? It's possible, but unlikely. Does that make sense? It's possible, but it's unlikely. Let me see what I miss here. <laughs> My G's. <That's> she, Jerry. <clears throat> so it's very, very important to pay attention to those, to this kind of. Uh, if you if you really want to discernment, we're talking about discernment. There's just some things, and you discernment doesn't mean you can't be wrong. It just means it, it means you're able to pick up BS ahead of time. Okay um for the most part you're probably going to be right okay and how do you do that self-esteem it goes back to self people that have low self-esteem low self-worth they always project they project that to other people and they assume worst case scenarios okay people that have serious levels of insecurity they project that to other people it's just the way it is okay so it, so i now said after it finished i actually had to get off and i told him i said I said, I, I respect your choices, opinion, because once people make up their mind and they have an assertive way of saying what the your opinion is, I have to respect their opinion. But I said, okay, to everyone else that's listening to me, please do not marry a wife. Gentlemen, if you're listening to me right now, that goes for you as well. Please do not marry a wife that you don't feel safe enough for them to be your nest of kin. Please do not marry a wife where you have a urge, a very strong urge and need to say they are not your best friend. Forget that they are not actually your best friend. The fact that you actually need to say that out. Please don't marry a wife like that. You collect. Okay? Don't marry a wife that you feel a need to say she's not your partner. Don't do that. You will hurt yourself. <laughs> You're going to be sleeping next to this person. You'll be snoring, knocked out. And you go, day dear, dear. Talking about, she's not my partner. She's not my friend. Listen, why, why are you, why are you in this conversation? <laughs> right? You know you're better off being single. You will be doing everyone a favor, including yourself. I'm not talking about my guy who is already practicing that. I'm talking about you. That you're fantasizing about, you know what? My mother is my best friend, not my wife. My mother is my family. You, you haven't done it, you're going to do that and you're actively speaking this way. Nothing good is inside of marriage for you. I'm just warning you. I'm doing you a favor. I know you didn't beg me, but everyone else that's listening too. So it's not really about you, okay? I'm speaking this out right now. If you feel negative about men, ladies... If you generalize your thoughts, your views about men in a negative manner, you assume worst case scenario. If you're saying things like, all men cheat. If this occupies majority of your conversations around this topic, you collect. <laughs> it will just be confirmation. It will just be a confirmation, okay, of what you already believe. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what about the other person that didn't bargain for that, right? For that, for the for the, the long-term effect of that type of mindset inside of marriage. It's really, really just more so about the mindset. It's not about the words. It's not about saying it or it's about, it's a mindset, okay? If you're telling me that your wife is not your partner, your wife is not your best friend in the same breath. Your wife can, cannot be your nest of kin in the same breath. There is, there is a confirmation there. You're confirming a certain type of mindset. Could it work for marriage? I'm not, I, I'm t it, it can't work. That's a fact of life. Okay. Adebusa said, did you ask the guy what he meant by she is not his partner or best friend? Well, 
a lot of men these days they i've had long enough i've been having a conversation with this fella and a few of them since 2021 so i have an idea right and what it is is that they don't believe in partnership they believe in leadership it's the same disease of women not believing in leadership they believe in partnership it's a disease both those two things they can't exist without another you can't have a good partnership that re results in a good marriage without a leader okay you're going to resent what you're asking for if he shows up if you find a man who doesn't know how to lead and his quote-unquote partner you're going to hate yourself in that marriage okay you're not going to like yourself you're going to and you won't know what happened because both of you believe that you were partners right but in it, with respect to everything that's happening right the vibe all of that right you'll find yourself asking yourself a lot like why should i have to tell you that right you you'll be asking yourself every time like uh, you're a man and you're asking me this stupid question right it's the same disease just polar opposite right it's the same problem it's just a polar opposite right you have a man who's saying no no leadership all the way no partnership it's the same disease okay why would i want to lead people that are not they don't have skin in the game that are not that don't feel as the same vested interest in the marriage why would i want to punish myself like that right ah <sighs> so now i'll be that too they believe in dictatorship, Mr. Ola. Yeah, they might even argue. The reason why I don't, I didn't extend the conversation too much because I already had long enough conversations and with 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 this particular set of people. I, I will continue to have conversations, but with this particular set of people, I know they've made up their mind for the most part. Um, they won't even admit that it's dictatorship. So that makes things difficult, right? We know in action, this is dictatorship you're looking for. You're looking to just say one thing and I bet you get, and that's how it's going to be, right? A lot of time, women actually show that in behavior too. They don't necessarily say because they know society doesn't accept that. Women, if, if it's not their way, it's, it's, it's my way or the highway, right? There's a lot of women who won't behave that way. In fact, there's lots of stories around that that I have for you that I'm going to be sharing with you, okay? But I have tons of stories that you want to make sure over this coming week, you want to make sure you're, you're engaged in the content we're releasing, right? But people are being mean to each other. People go into marriage preparing to be mean to each other. Not directly, not necessarily deliberately because they build these walls against them, around themselves. They're actively always trying to protect themselves. They, they 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 can't be vulnerable they are afraid there's so much so many bad news and the only thing they consume is bad news so they expect it and that's basically what they look forward to you know and remember what you fear the most you will attract you will create it right so if they can say it's dictatorship, at least people that subscribe to that, they will know how to avoid it or to say, yes, dictatorship is what I want. And then they can subscribe to it and everybody's happy. Because really, if you have unity, everybody's going to be happy. Right? If you have unity, everyone will be happy. That, frankly, be honest with you. Okay? But if you don't know what you're subscribing to, you know, uh, that's not really unity. It will show up as dictatorship or you don't know ahead of time, right? So, oftentimes you might find yourself in that situation and then you're like, oh, it's kind of too late to move forward. I was like, if he's the leader, he should set his family up for success, not at the mercy of someone else in case of unforeseen circumstances. Exactly. You know. Uh, he is no marriage counselor, but you are here benefiting from his wisdom. Who we talk? Who's that? I missed that. All right. So anyway, the gist spouse is exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for a friend. Okay. Remember the the four. If you haven't started going through the thirty day book camp, please go and go there. We discuss this a little bit more in details. Okay. Friendship number one. Friendship. You can you can you can basically. 
you know you can you can say it in different shapes and forms how you want you can do whatever you want with that you know but no friendship could it last okay last that's even if you have sex it's only a matter of time that you know as you know even when it comes to kerewa that's ups and downs there will be dry spells sometimes okay and the only thing you have left that will spark off that will get you that will get you guys out of that dry spell mode is friendship you just like that person forget love for a second forgetting love you just like them just because just because for no damn reason okay that's the person you're looking for friendship okay so you're looking for the homie the lover and the friend okay you need all of it okay but you need the lover okay you need to have lots of sex okay don't get it twisted okay and if you can't admit to friendship then maybe we're talking about number four here pride and ego if you think you're going to do life with another human being in 2023 and beyond right and they don't expect for you guys to just gossip apropos right be able to sit in the couch and just watch tv for no reason be feel comfortable around each other but also be okay apart sometimes like there's nobody watching over anybody you just feel safe you can get knocked out right next to this person and be snoring even if you're a woman you can fart around him it's not going to catch feelings like what is that why are you doing that you can say let's try these other things in the bedroom it's not going to be like who taught you that if you think you're going to do that in 2023 and beyond you have something else coming for you that's unrealistic expectations you will collect <laughs> okay but i'm patient if you don't know that yet you know i'll be here all the stories they keep coming out now here we day mm -hmm. so no big no big no biggies there'll be casualties it is what it is all right so that's that story right there i'll be